Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. And first of all, I want to um, make a note about yesterday's video. I showed y'all two emails. There was number one and number two. And I said, which one is legit? And I said I would say which one was legit at the end of the video. And I totally did not, which I apologize for because I meant to. But uh, obviously, the email on the right of the screen, or email number two, was the legit video, or not legit video, legit email. And I did uh, mail out the um, the heat gun to you yesterday, Pele Lonnie. So thank you very much for entering everybody. And uh, yeah, thought I'd wrap that up. I did. That was not intentional uh, to leave that information out of that video. Uh, I have some stuff going out. I'm not shipping today, but I am packing today. I had yesterday, um, I guess as a result of running 10% uh, sales on makeup and 20% sales on a lot of other stuff, I've got uh, a lot of stuff going out. And I, I think I had my, like my, probably my second best day ever because I think... I broke, I broke 2K a couple of months back. Um, I did over 2,000 in one day, which was, that that is still my best day ever on eBay. But yesterday I cracked, um, four, I almost hit $1,500 in sales yesterday. So it was huge. <laughs> and uh, a lot, some of it was makeup, but most of it was not. It was other stuff that, um, that I put on sale, other higher end stuff that I put on sale, the 20% off thing. So the 20% off sale is working, doing exactly what I needed to do. Um, I want to clear out some space in here and I also want to uh, bring in some money. I've got a pretty big buy coming up that y'all will see hopefully this weekend, um, either on this channel or garage, it'll probably be on Garage Flip's channel think I've got a monster buy coming up as far as I know anyways anyways I already packed up um, I've got some cosmetics and some jeans and some box resizers thank y'all very much for buying those those are already packed up I have 18 what is waiting shipment there we go I've got 18 other things I need to pack up that are not believe it or not 18 things that are not jeans, makeup, or, uh, well, no, some of them are Hot Wheels. So let's get to pulling. Okay, first order, I sold a couple of video games. Uh, Prince of Persia, look, they're right side by side on the shelf too. Original Xbox games, Prince of Persia and Half-Life 2. You can see the prices on the screen there. And uh, yeah, I do have a pretty good many video games going out. I've been. Uh, I haven't been listing very hard lately, but I've been trying to at least get a few video games up every day, if nothing else, just to keep the algorithm going a little bit, which I believe, I still believe, I don't believe a lot of conventional wisdom about algor the algorithm, but I do believe that listing every day helps. Jennifer bought Pinball Quest. NES game right, right here. And she included an interesting note with this game that I want to read. Because these retro video games are all about the nostalgia, right? Uh, I can't believe you have this game. This is the first NES game I bought for my sons when they were kids. That was over 20 years ago. I'll bet it was over 30 years ago if you think about it. <laughs> this game, unless you bought it like later on, this game was made... 1985 that's what that's the date on the back anyways uh, they love this game and i am buying it as a christmas present to them they'll get such a kick out of seeing it again that's pretty cool i bet they will that is a that is a fantastic gift actually uh just a gift of nostalgia and memories from past christmases right that's pretty cool but anyways thank you very much jennifer i hope they do get a kick out of it sold a hot wheels car or truck it's a Chevy C10 pickup truck. Another high value one. I guess I wasn't paying very close attention because I didn't realize I had that many high value cars left. This is 
custom 69 Chevy. Yeah, this is the right one too. Uh, 619 of 7631. This sold for $159.99 plus shipping on top. I do believe it's going uh, international. So I'm going to print the postage through Pirate Ship and add insurance. Next, I bought the Sorel Women's Winter Furry Boots, whatever you want to call these things. Um, they're, they're very cool, actually. Um, bought these for five dollars in cincinnati i remember they were asking 10 but i paid five and sold for 47.99 psot okay next up is a pontiac firebird funny car 1977 2801 all right pontiac firebird funny car Pontiac Firebird funny car. Here we go. And it is, yep, 2801. So this is going to Germany. And that's one thing I want to talk about real quick. Uh, because a lot of these higher value Hot Wheels, or Hot Wheels in general, I've actually sold overseas. The reason I'm selling them overseas, and I know a lot of you only want to ship global shipping program. I respect that. But I'm telling y'all, the reason that these are selling overseas is because I'm offering good shipping rates with simple export rate. So I understand GSP is easier and safer, but simple offering simple export rate makes more sales than GSP. That's the reason I do it. So I just want to keep saying that. And if you choose not to do it, that's up to you because you can do what you like but you're missing out on some sales in a lot of cases, I think. Especially in stuff like this that is fairly rare and collectible, uh, you can sell stuff like this worldwide. Okay, this is something I listed quite a while back. This is a Batman paperweight. I think it said Pot B Shelf. It's been listed. Oh, you know what, it's under here. Batman Pewter Paperweight. Originally cost $39.95 in the U.S. This is from 1997, which believe it or not, 1997 is 23 freaking years ago. This is actually vintage. <laughs> but yeah, um, this sold for $71.99 plus shipping on top. On sale. So that was, this is a case where I really needed that 20% sale to make this thing go away. All right, I sold from Toby Shelf. I sold a uh, pure filter system and filters. Where is Toby Shelf? It's over here. Here we go. Uh, yeah, it's this stuff right here. I think it comes with four filters and the system itself. All of it's new. And I got. $39.99 plus shipping on top for that. Sorry for the camera work. My hands are full. Uh, $39.99 plus shipping on top for this stuff. Okay, the pile is growing over here. <laughs> Man, what a day. I couldn't believe it. The sales just like bing, 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 just rolling in yesterday. It was awesome. Uh, Hungry Mikey bought a boy and his blob for Nintendo uh, Wii. Boy and his blob right here. $12.99 plus shipping on top and uh, Hungry Mikey that is a pretty awesome nickname you have there <laughs> appreciate it hope you enjoy the game okay this next thing pop a this is some kind of concrete testing kit thingamajig that I picked up at a garage sale for $5 it's supposed to be on this shelf yeah it is okay Ooh, it's got some dust on it I need to clean the sucker off a little bit um rapid p rapid rh it's got like drill bits and some other bits and pieces but it's missing some of the more important stuff so i sold this as parts only um no returns or anything like that it does have like a really nice case this case is like if y'all are familiar with pelican cases that's what this case feels like yeah, it's got a lot of dust. I'm going to clean the dust off before I ship this thing. $39.99 plus shipping on top. Sold a Cryptozoic Hawk Girl. 
little bombshell. I think that's what these both are here. No, that's poison ivy there. Let's see if I can figure out which one of these is her. Uh, I think that is probably her. She's got like a jet pack on her. Let me double check the, uh, the listing. Cause those all look kind of similar. Yeah, this is her. Sold for $18.99 plus shipping on top. Let's go pull a few video games here. Uh, Super Mario, Duck Hunt. I had a bunch of those, and as soon as I list them, they pretty much sell. It's not big money, as you can see. Uh, I listed two yesterday. So I put little stickers. This is number one. So I know this is the one I need. And then the other game I'm pulling right now is... This is a nice little value game here. Uh, Civilization for Super Nintendo. Another Redline Club. Uh, 68 Nova. Number 1430. 60. I'm, I'm going to be able to combine down to one box soon, which is good. Actually, I can do it now. That's pretty awesome. 68 Nova is what I'm looking for. There's a 68 Nova. 1430. Was that the... I look at the serial number just in case I have more than one Nova, which is possible. Uh, yeah, eighty-seven ninety-nine plus shipping on top for this one. There's some more NES games going out. These are going out to John. So John, thank you very much for the business. Hope you like the games. We've got okay, Super Mario Duck Hunt number two right here, um, and then two. I think this game, yeah, MLB Baseball. And then we have, I think, the play action. I'm just looking at these other ones to see what they are. They aren't it. I already see it. We have play action football. NES play action football. Okay. Those three right there. So thanks again, John. Appreciate it. Uh, it's another Hot Wheels. And I, I want to make the point again. <laughs> I'm, I'm beating a dead horse here. Uh, three of those, the three carded Hot Wheels that you saw me pull, all three international labels um mexico germany and canada on this but i sold another hot wheel a loose one this time and it is a fox body it's right here a fox body mustang so i'll get a better look at it i hope here we go Oh, Fox Body Mustang that sold for $119.99 plus shipping on top. This one's actually going domestic though. Okay, Pop B Shelf. Dorothy and Toto. This is actually supposed to go over here. This shelf. Starting to get this Barbie stuff out of here. It's pretty good uh so yeah i've been selling these migos this is the third one i've sold um this is dorothy with toto and toto's little basket there 31.99 plus shipping on top cost 329 at wilson's back in the day anybody remember wilson's one more thing on main account uh some i'm gonna pull a makeup uh, Super Start Skin Renewal Booster MU3 One Ounce. MU3. Whoa, almost dropped it all. MU3 Super Start One Ounce. Got a bunch of those. This is probably like, I think, the sixth one of these I've sold. Um, $35.99 free ship. Yeah, that's everything that's going out. Um, actually, it's going to go out tomorrow, though. Because I'm not shipping today. Today I'm going to edit this video. And then I pulled this. Just go around looking for stuff I can list. To, to stall on listing all those Beanie Babies. But I have this. And I don't know what these are worth. These are like old. These are like vintage photos. Look this is all the same one over and over. That's Gregory Peck. There's signatures, but those are part of, those are printed. Those aren't live signatures. 
Uh, all these different guys acting in westerns and girls, too. And then the rest of these, from here all the way back, these are all 8x10s of Elvis. And it looks like this was bought at the Elvis Presley Museum in Memphis at some point. Uh, copyright notice not to be reproduced. So these are photographs, but they're prints that were bought from the museum. So they're, they're certainly, you know, they're on glossy photograph paper, but they're not, um, these are not originals or anything. Like these are not unique. Uh, they're cool though. Now, a lot of they all pretty much have these stamps with the copyright notice on them. And it covers like his whole career. Early days, that's a later day there. That looks like a Vegas show or something. It's got a cool pose in one of these. Yeah, look. <laughs> Check out that Vegas look. That's from uh, 79. These are real old here. Or real late in his life, I should say. Anyways, um, I don't know what to do with these exactly. I see a lot of people trying to sell um, 8x10s. Again, this is from Elvis Presley Museum. I see a lot of people trying to sell these 8x10s for like five six bucks stuff, stuff like that and um i don't know that it's going to be worth it for me to try and do that so we'll see i think i'm probably going to make like lots of these and try some auctions we'll see what happens there's some uncut uh like four by six is there. That must be Priscilla and uh, what's his daughter's name? I can't remember. Like that wasn't Elvis, was it? I guess it was. Is that Elvis? Didn't look like him. Oh my gosh, that is not a good look for him there. Look at that. Okay, <laughs> I probably spent way too much time. Man, I've got a ton of these photos, don't I? Probably spent, ooh, that's a nice pose. That is cool. Probably spent way too much time uh, looking at this. Is that a live signature? That sig looks like it could be live. It's the first one I've seen where I thought it was live. Is there some kind of certificate or something with it? But uh, anyways, thank y'all very much for watching. I'll see y'all again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.